Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's take a look at the capacitive reactance. To find the capacitive reactance, here's the equation. It's 1 over 2 pi Fc. We sometimes also write it like this. X sub C can be written as 1 over omega C. Remember that omega is equal to 2 pi F. Omega is simply the radial frequency, and F is the oscillating frequency of the voltage source. Now, in our particular case, we can calculate the capacitive reactance. X sub C is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times the frequency, which is 60 hertz, times the, capaci the capacitance, in this case, is 13.26 microfarads, or 13.26 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And so that will give us the capacitive reactance. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's that. Okay, times 60, times 2, times pi. Take the inverse, and we get 200 ohms in this case. So X sub C is equal to 200 ohms. All right, now, what does the equation look like? Well, we realize it's a function of the frequency, and so we can write it as 1 over 2 pi C times 1 over F. Now, that looks a lot like the inverse relation between Y and X like this. Y equals some constant times 1 over X. X sub C is equal to some constant times 1 over F. So it's a 1 over x type of equation, and so that means the curve must look like this. So you can see that with increasing frequency, the reactance of the capacitor goes down. With decreasing frequency, the reactance of the capacitor goes up. And when f becomes 0, that means that the reactance is infinite. In other words, if the current is steady state, if there's no oscillation in the current, the capacitor is basically an open circuit. There's no current that will flow through the circuit. And as you can see that, therefore, the impedance or the reactance of that will then become infinite. So why does it do that? Well, it turns out that a capacitor stores energy. As current flows in one direction, charges build up on one side. So let me try to illustrate that. So let's say the current flows in this direction. We get charges piling up, and as more and more charges pile up, those charges begin to push back against the current and begin to slow down the current. So if the oscillation of the current is very slow, the capacitor can fill up full of charge and it becomes a very large impedance or reactance towards the current. But if the current switches back and forth really quick, then not a lot of charges can pile up on the capacitor, and before the capacitor can even begin to fill up, the current turns in the opposite direction, and then charges build up on that side, and then they build up on the other side, and so forth and so on. And so therefore the capacitor cannot fully get charged, and therefore does not offer a lot of opposition to the current. Higher frequencies, low reactance, lower frequencies, higher reactance. And so that's what the capacitor reactance looks like in an RCL circuit.